This week on Life on Jupiter, our time on the Erie Canal is coming to an end. We are more than halfway. We pass underneath the lowest bridge. I just saw an eagle. And we rescue a great American. So we are leaving the dock now and we need to cross the, the lake because it's six hours to cross it and Jamie said that we need a weather window for that because if it's against us it's gonna be a problem <laughs> yeah so so sad because it's all shops are closed and we can't see any places and yeah beautiful town so we are in Anita Lake not sure how you pronounce it but it spells O-N-E-I-D-A Oh, <laughs> I was filming. <laughs> Sorry. So, I was wrong. It's not uh, 30 miles. 30 miles to the next lock. I thought the lake was 30 miles, but it's not. It's oh. only 18 miles. Yeah. And yeah. then, uh, so we'll see how far we get. We'll get a couple of locks done today. Unless we see something nice we want to stop. Okay, not gonna hit. <laughs> so this is a big intersection on the uh, Erie Canal. If we were to turn right here, it becomes the Oswego Canal. And it goes to Ontario, it goes mm. to Canada. So some people do go up that way into the Lake Ontario, but not us because we gotta stay in the US. Canada doesn't want us at the moment. <laughs> no tourists. Sad. Because what we would have to do is go Lake Ontario, Canadian locks back in, but we can't go into Canada. So, we'll make it a left turn. No, all right. <sighs> so, 192 miles to go to Buffalo. Mm. Doing 40 miles a day, well, five days, huh? I think we'll have a rest day soon though. Maybe even here. We'll see, see if we like this Baldwinville. If you intend to do the entire Erie Canal like us, you need to be able to clear a bridge of 15 foot 6 inches. 
Otherwise, you can head up the Oswego Canal and come down the locks in Canada. Well, we have, we bought a, what do you call it? I don't know. Sponge, <laughs> bath sponge. <laughs> and a new water glass. Why? Because I broke it. Mm. <laughs> One dollar. <laughs> so, so cheap. And a broom. Total, and one dollar. Total cost? Three dollars. So cheap. That's what I call shopping. Shopping. Bye, Bogginville. Thank you for the internet. <laughs> That's we had to stay a day because um, outside the towns there's no internet, and of course in the valley, you know, we're in a river right now. So mm -hmm. yeah, we had to spend. Uh, a day just so we could use internet get a video uploaded so that's done mm. and now we're gonna most of the day 30 miles 31 miles of no locks just motor 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 31 miles so it's about six hours for us wow this is the first time we got this long yeah long way to the other one yeah it's good because Locking, it's a little bit stressful yeah, and tiring. Tiring. I mean, some of those, some when they let the water in the lock, the currents are so strong that, like this lock here, we nearly lost it. <laughs> we, <laughs> you just can't hold the boat, yeah. and uh, there's no really good way. The the system they have with these loose ropes, there's no good way to hold the boat tightly. And we've only got 11 lo locks left. Wow, that's hard to say. We've only got 11 <laughs> locks left uh, before we get to Buffalo. Yeah. So that's good. Still probably four more days of motoring to get to Buffalo. Mm -hmm. See Niagara Falls! Yay! <laughs> Is that an eagle? Fly like an eagle. Hi, eagle. It's an eagle bee. Fly like an eagle. Oh, that too. Oh my God, he's coming. Woo! It's beautiful. Yeah, they're small. That's not. No, it's, it's not a big like bird bee. It's a, well, our eagle is so big. Not like that. Yeah, you do have big Philippine eagles. eagles yeah. yeah, that's a small eagle. Lovely animal. Yeah, pretty. So for those who's completing the Erie Canal, this is the lowest bridge, 15 feet. I will touch it. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Woo! Still cannot <laughs> touch it. It's super high. Yeah. Probably the lowest we've been under, but well, maybe how high are you? You're only two feet. Yeah. What? <laughs> well, can you give me more? <laughs> Not two feet. <laughs> uh, the church. Uh, so that's the lowest bridge. It's, I think it's higher than 15. 
Yeah, we're good. So we are, with the radar up, we were 13. 0.7, I think. Yeah, we should have removed it. Uh, well, Chicago, we've got to go under a bridge, it's 13.7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I reckon that was easily 17, 18 feet. <laughs> So let's try this one. It says on the chart it it is 18, 17, 17 foot. But I, it seems the other one said 15. But it was high. Yeah, be be careful. I <laughs> uh, yeah, I can definitely touch. <laughs> Me, I cannot touch even I'm standing here. Yeah, maybe you can touch it. <laughs> oh. What? You win. <laughs> We always do that. What? <laughs> oh my god, be careful. Oh. <laughs> Just threw my elbow out. <laughs> uh, I gotta go steer okay. the boat now. <laughs> Ow. He win! Didn't even have to jump. <laughs> oh my god. We did it! We touched one of the bridge. Okay, for those who wants to touch the bridge, it's between lock 25 and 26. On the Erie Canal. On the Erie Canal. <laughs> Yay! So we're approaching the lock now. About half a mile out, I give them a call. Lock 30, lock 30, Jupiter 2, Jupiter 2. Lock 30, go ahead. Good morning, sir. Westbound and about half a mile out. All right, I'll get it ready for you. You can start making your approach. Thank you. Okay, approaching the dock. I'm gonna have both engines running. And we want to adjust our speed a little slower to enter the uh, chamber. We're also looking for a green light, or at least verbal confirmation that we can enter from the uh, lockmaster. Sometimes they forget to turn the green light on, but they've already told you to come in. So we've got a green light. It's just on the left side there, near the number 30. Put both engines in gear and equalize the, the thrust. And just idle forward. Now often there's a dam just over here on the one side of the lock and big currents. So, uh, and we've had reverse currents which actually are pushing you up into the lock. But today is nice and calm, this one. We're doing four knots, which is fine. With two engines running, you know, we, to slow down, we'll end up dropping one uh, engine into neutral, just going in on one engine. But uh, with the cat asymmetric thrust in that case, you're gonna be turning the uh, offset thrust will turn the boat, so you've got to anticipate that, so you don't go smack into the wall. I'm going to one in neutral. Correct the offset thrust. Slow down a bit more. So Princess has a hook, it's actually a gaff hook, to grab the line. Morning. They've gone into neutral on both. We'll just glide in. You can see the wall's pretty rough. You don't want the boat or the fenders even to be rubbing on that. 
So the slower the better right here. Put them both in reverse to reduce our way. That's enough. Next. Next. Gonna edge over to the wall without hitting it. Anticipate with more reverse. Princess has hers, I have mine. The boat's still got inertia, so we're still moving forward a little, but work nicely. You want to bring the rope up, and if it's long enough, we will attach it to this cleat, but we're stable, I'm going to turn off the engines because it'll be 10 minutes alright, now I'm going to you want to wrap the rope around either the, the stern rail or the cleat if you can reach because the turbulence does get quite severe and the uh, the boat will swing out and risk hitting the other side especially us because we're so wide we've only got a few meters on that side before we're hitting so you can't let the and of course as the water level comes up you have to take in the slack otherwise you're going to swing over there this is not the ideal way to lock, but it's the only way. Other than that, there's a post up there, and how the hell do you get a rope up there? And then once you get level with that, rope just comes off, which is quite useless. So uh, the lock keeper said this is the most practical way. Take in the slack. Yep, see the swell, and we are off. We are off. Bobby. That's not a calm one. That's a lot. <laughs> and as the water level comes up, this rope gets longer and longer. So I gotta try pull the slack. It's actually a bit of hard work for Princess. <sighs> you see the swelling. Depth sound is going nuts because of all the air bubbles coming up. Alrighty, get some purchase there. It's usually just that initial rush of water and as it gets closer to the water level on the other side of the gate it uh, calms down. Bit of a can be a bit of a muddy job. This one's pretty clean actually, but the last one was really muddy and hands and your clothes and the boat get covered in mud. Ooh, ah. All right, it's calming down now. Let's throw the excess over. Some of these weights. This one's rubber, which is good, but some of them are steel. So don't bang them on your boat. That was 
last last lock's mud. Sometimes the lockmaster comes up and asks for our registration number and our length and the name of the boat. But not today. Well, not this guy. Because the previous lockmaster will have passed on some information. So with the gates opening, I'm going to start the engines. So we want to make sure the gates are open enough and they are fully open. You can release. Get the mud off your hands. And drive. I need a little bit of speed just for better steerage. So I put a little bit of power on for better steerage. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> How you doing? And we are clear of the lock. Go back to our single engine cruising. So the next one was what? 16 miles, two and a half hours for us. Well, that's how you transit a lock on the Erie Canal. Turning around, I just saw an eagle uh, in the long grass, just on the edge of the water. It's like, um, and he was trying to flap and fly, but couldn't get out of the grass. It's like right on the edge of the water. And I'm not sure, but he may have fishing line on him. Uh, we went past just to make sure, you know, not to stress him and uh, he could get his, take his time to get out, but I can see him still struggling back there. So we're gonna have a look. Anyone know about big chickens like that? <laughs> big chicken. That's a big uh, knife he's got on his face, isn't he? Mm. So, um, see, I don't know how we're gonna deal with this, but we'll see. Yeah, still flapping there. You think that injured from the grass. Well, he's, his wings are working. Mm -hmm. But I'm worried he's got fishing line around him. Mm he's -hmm. like physically got it around his leg or something. So if we take a knife. Put down a dinghy? Yeah. Try and find a clean spot to drop the anchor here. Here. You can turn. Oh. Uh oh. That's a big bee. Oh, it's big. Oh. Okay. So. It's alright. We're gonna save you. What are you doing there? 
Hmm. No, 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 no. Do you see anything? Um, I can't see. Around his leg. I mean, his wings are working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's your gloves. I'm going to try and at least get rid of the grass out of his way. Mm -hmm. This is that. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Clara. Yeah. Mm. Why can't you? Why can't you get out? No, no, no. Mm. Come on. Mm. Oh, shit. It's gonna Come on. 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 Come a vine around you. Mm. Oh, no. No. Turn around. Turn around here. It's never going to come towards it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Go up, go up. You can go up. You're getting tired, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, he's falling. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you hold his um, wings, he will bite. Yeah. See that big knife on his face? Yeah. Come on. That's it. Go. Yeah. Can, can you reach that one in near his head? Yeah. Can't reach that one. Well, just stuck, you know. Yeah. He can't fly up, he's got to go forward, see? Yeah. So that's yeah, like an aeroplane, he's got to go forward. It's calm now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying here, buddy. So big. Come on. Come on. It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Come on. Go through. Yeah. Now you can fly now. It smells like a dog. Yeah. Open this up. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Head off that way. Mm -hmm. Yay! Good. <laughs> He's falling. That'll work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's it. Yeah. Oh, go here. Stand a little bit. Go here. Go fly. Right side. Go, 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 go. One, two. Now she needs a lot of room. She needs to be able to go down. 